Hey everyone, it's me Charm Girl 98 and today I have a charm update. And I have quite a bit of charms, um and a plushie. And I've got my <laughs> really, really beautiful tripod setup. I've got my roadie toast. Oh, hello, Nana. Hi. Um and then I have this candle so the roadie toast doesn't fall over. I wanna fall over my weekend like you. Oh shut up. And I, um <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask about that, really don't. Just don't even think about it. Here I kid you! Shut up, Frank. That's his name, by the way. No way to be Fred! Shut up! Blech. Anyway, um, that was <laughs> a little bit strange. Uh, anyway, um, we'll see how well this tripod works. Um, let me know if you like this better or just me holding the camera. She likes this better. No, I don't. Shut up. I didn't even make sense. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get started. So, for the charms, I made this character from Sentimental Circus. And his name is Rio, I believe, and he's the lion. And his little nose, and his fa all of his facial features are painted on, but this is clay. Here. So this is really cute, I think. Turned out really well. If you guys want a tutorial on that, I probably can. Um... <laughs> that was gross on me. Um, I made this cannoli, and the drizzle is made with TLS. And this is a cherry, and this is a blueberry. Yep. Oh, and my dad, he got me um these wire pliers today. They're the wire bitters, so I've been making eye pins. Um, so if you can tell, like, I think this one is too. No, no, no. <laughs> that one's too perfect. Um, like, this one is. This one, that, I, that one's one I made. If you can tell, it's not perfect. Um, I think that's one I made, and here's one I made too. So it's really handy, um. And it gives you, like, twice as much eye pins, you know, so it's, like, it's pretty helpful. And you don't have to buy as much. So, um, anyway, let's continue. Um, then I made this, like, microscopic, teeny little, um, fortune cookie. Like, it's so small. Like, this is my pinky nail to it. Pretty small. It fits on my thumbnail. Um, it's just this little fortune cookie. Um... And it's got a little tag and it has a little heart on it. And the heart isn't that great because it's so small. It's like... So small, so... It's cute, though. Um, then I made these... This half cupcake thing. And it's really textured, if you can tell. Yeah. So it's like red velvet. Yeah. Um, but, um, it's like half of cupcake and it's really textured and it looks like this and I'm gonna put this on a woodsy and scrape off some crumbs if you can see you can like scrape off crumbs if you can see that um whoa ah! no don't do that don't do that Frank candle moved <laughs> anyway bad setup I know um I will get a tripod sometime but I'm gonna put these on a woodsy with some Scrapings of crumbs on the bottom, I think, and then I'm also gonna um, put something else on. I don't know what else. But I saw a tutorial on this, but I don't know by who. So. Um. Then I made um three cupcakes. So I made this pig cupcake, which I think turned out really cute. It's a little pig, and it, this is textured, if you can tell, this part, but I don't think you can, and, um, it's really cute. Then I have this earth cupcake, and this is, like, textured like it's the ground. It's really cool, I think. And then lastly, I just have this one. And it's like pastel, pink, blue, and pink. And it's got frosting, if you can tell. 
it looks just like the pink on camera, but it's like you can totally tell in real life. And it's got a little rose on it. And, um, everybody asks me, are the roses really hard to make? They're not really. Um, you just make a circle and then roll it up and then make little teardrop shapes and put them around it. It's really quite easy. Then I made this lollipop in the wrapper. And, you, and this is translucent over, like, this little lollipop. And you can see it, and I think it's really cool. It's a really cool effect. Um, I do not know who I saw this from. But, um... It's got the funniest little face. It's got the cute little style of cheeks. I don't do that much, but I like it. Then I made this Japanese style um, snow cone with micro marbles on the top, but you can't really tell on camera. Once again, um, but I made one of these a really long time ago. Like I think it was like even longer, like like such a long time. I don't think I was even on YouTube yet, but. Um, I just made another one because I thought I just make another one because the other one was kind of gross. <laughs> like it was, it was really old. Um, I made this strawberry shortcake ice cream inspired by Tony Ellison, and they're like the ice creams that you get with like the crunchy stuff on the outside. They're really good. Um, but and they have like strawberry ice cream in the inside, and Tony Ellison has a tutorial on this. She has a tutorial with like a bunch of different ice creams that come out of like an ice cream truck. Then I have this tea bag, which I think is cute. It's got a little heart there. And I use pastels for this like fading effect. Then I have this pancake sack with syrup, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, and I got this tutorial from Paper Pastels that she actually uploaded today, so. They look pretty realistic. I like the way they look. <laughs> I made this ice cream scoop. I made this panda bun, and it's the girl one. <laughs> I think this one's pretty cute. I made this little pot sticker, and once again, you can see inside, which I think is a really weird and kind of creepy, but really cool fact. Like you can see everything inside. Like, not so much on camera, but, like, in real life you can. It's really cool. So, this is the happy one. And this is the sad one, because he's burnt. Like, extremely burnt. <laughs> but, um, you can still see the stuff inside a little bit, even the eye pin, but, which is kind of funny. But you can still see the stuff inside a little bit. Then I have this little deco piece, which is like a cracker with like a strawberry cane and whipped cream and strawberry filling, I guess. Um, I, whoa, I just flung that. Um, <laughs> um, I made this hot dog with like charred marks. And Tony Ellison also has a tutorial on this. And then lastly, I made this, um raspberry sh shortbread cookie that they have like their shortbread and then they have the raspberry in the middle so yep so those are all the charms um and then I lastly have this milk plush and I followed um Tammy Helen's um tutorial on this thanks for watching guys bye